Good afternoon, everybody. And welcome to all of you. Uh, Governor Corbett, Mayor Eric Papenfus, Harrisburg, members of the Pennsylvania General Assembly who are here with us, as well as all elected officials, parents, educators, and of course, our honored guests, the Comcast leaders and achievers, scholars from throughout Pennsylvania. My name is Frank Lynch. I'm the Regional Vice President of Government Affairs for Comcast. And this is the 14th year of the Comcast Leaders and Achievers Scholarship Program, offering $1,000 scholarships to students who excel not just in, in scholastics, but also community involvement and leadership. But this is the fifth time that we asked everyone to join us for this special event to honor Pennsylvania's outstanding students right here in Harrisburg. It's our intention to shine the light on you right here in our state's capital city because you represent the very best that Pennsylvania has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, let's please offer a round of applause for these remarkable young men and women who are just up here to greet the governor's birthday. They truly are great young people, and uh, they hold great promise to make all of us proud as they go forward in life. Towards the end of the ceremony, we will announce the name of one student who's been selected as the winner of our Comcast Founders $10,000 scholarship. Also, 10 of you will be selected to win new Samsung Chrome netbooks. At the conclusion of the ceremony, we'll have luncheon upstairs in Memorial Hall and Village Square areas of the museum. We truly are in a remarkable place here, right here in the State Museum of Pennsylvania. It's a unique storehouse of Pennsylvania history and lore, and we're fortunate to be able to host this in this one-of-a-kind location in Pennsylvania. Uh, many thanks to the museum staff, especially Judy, uh, who once, once again went above and beyond in making this a first-rate event, worthy of those we're here to honor. As I mentioned, we're in Pennsylvania's capital city, uh, where attention is often the focus of state government, especially right now we're deep in the heart of budget season. Uh, but with our next speaker, we'll change that focus for just a little bit. Eric Papenfus is the mayor of Harrisburg, having won the post in November, and now in his 22nd week on the job. Mayor Papenfus has a rare combination of attributes. He's wedded his lifelong love of learning with his entrepreneurial spirit to own and operate a, a true Central Pennsylvania treasure, the Midtown Scholar Bookstore. And if you get a chance, uh, drop by. It's a great place to stop and, and check out the books that they have. Uh, Mayor Papenfus has also proven that he's willing to make sacrifices in the time he can spend with his business as well as his young family to go through the uh, brutal electoral process and pursue his dream of public service. Mayor Papenfus also knows that leadership is not just a matter of top-down management. It's not a matter of cutting ribbons and kissing babies and bestowing keys to the city. Uh, in cities and neighborhoods that have challenges, social and fiscal, it's also vital to work from the ground up and nurture that spirit of involvement that helps build families and puts our kids on the right track. After years of struggle, Harrisburg is now on the way back, and Mayor Papenfus is dedicating all of his time and talents to see it all the way through. It's an honor for me to present to you the Honorable Eric Papenfus, Mayor, City of Harrisburg. Mayor. Thank you very much, Frank. Uh, it is in tr truly an honor to be here to get to welcome you all to the great city of Harrisburg. The last time I was on this stage, uh, it was for a mayoral debate. It was really a, a sort of turning point in the campaign for me. And as I look out and uh, see all of these bright young faces, I, I'm truly inspired. I'm inspired by your commitment to service. I'm a former teacher myself. I believe in uh, the concept of everyone stepping up to a, a cause which is greater than one's own. You inspire me, and I think as elected officials, it's up to us to harness this energy, to tap this energy and bring it to its full potential as we move forward. I have a few remarks about uh, leadership I want to share with you this morning. They'll, they'll be brief. First, I want to thank uh, Comcast for inviting me to attend this Leaders and Achievers Awards presentation and offer some words of encouragement to our young leaders. I really want to commend Comcast for the Leaders and Achievers program. We need to encourage the highest ideals of leadership in our youth as they prepare to become the next corporate CEOs, entrepreneurs, scientists, doctors, and yes, even elected officials. I thought I'd speak to you today about leadership and the makings of a true leader. Each of the young people being honored here today has been identified as a leader, but it is important to understand what leadership is 
and what it is not. Leadership is not just about holding public office. You can be a leader without being elected to anything. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King never held public office, but he was one of the greatest leaders our country has ever known. Leadership is not merely having a grand title or, or being rich or famous. Some of the humblest and poorest people have been the world's greatest leaders. I'm thinking specifically of Mahatma Gandhi or Mother Teresa. And leadership is more than being outgoing and popular. Some of the world's greatest leaders were quiet introverts. Abraham Lincoln was one of them. Bill Gates, another famous introverted leader, provided a modern definition of leadership for us to consider. As we look ahead into the next century, he said, leaders will be those who empower others. Leaders must be able to work collaboratively with others to gain the respect of their colleagues and to allow others to shine. Now, in the past, we've defined leaders as those who stood out from the crowd, ordered people around, and imposed their will. But the leadership that is prized today respects diversity, values honest exchange of ideas, and welcomes innovation. These are the leadership traits Comcast has identified in the youth being honored today as achievers and leaders. They have earned the respect of people around them because they exhibit basic leadership characteristics worthy of imitating. They're hard workers. They persevere despite obstacles and setbacks. They show respect for themselves and for others. And they understand that no leader succeeds at anything without a strong and committed team. So in speaking directly to our, our young leaders, I'd urge you to develop your leadership potential by learning how to inspire and empower others. Be quicker to give credit than take it. It's been said that a good leader takes a little more than his or her share of the blame and a little less than his or her share of the credit. Be open to differences of opinion and ideas other than your own. The smartest leaders want to be surrounded by even smarter people who are brave enough to speak truth to power. And most of all, learn how to be a good follower. It is an essential first step in becoming a great leader. So thank you again, and congratulations to the 2014 Comcast Leaders and Achievers. I look forward to meeting all of you after today's program. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Our next speaker is somebody you already met and somebody you sang happy birthday to almost. Um, he is the governor of Pennsylvania and he's gonna kill me after uh, he sees me for mentioning his birthday. But we are thrilled to have him come to this event and honor you, uh, the best and brightest in Pennsylvania. And to do the, the introductions of the governor is not only one of his good friends, but someone who has a lifelong commitment to government service in his own right. Uh, Jim has a long history of working both for and with Senate leadership in Pennsylvania. Here to introduce the governor is Comcast Pennsylvania Vice President of Legislative Affairs, Jim DiNicenzo. Jim? Thank you, Frank. A lifelong Pennsylvania resident, Governor Tom Corbett has a long and distinguished career fighting for the citizens of the Commonwealth. Upon becoming governor in January 2011, Corbett immediately dedicated himself to fulfilling the promises he made to Pennsylvanians. Growing Pennsylvania's job market, keeping taxes low, and bringing true change and progress to Harrisburg. For three years in a row, Governor Corbett refused to raise taxes on Pennsylvania's working families. Instead, he has passed three on-time budgets that have encouraged private sector job growth, put Pennsylvanians back to work, and protected taxpayer dollars with controlled government spending. These policies have helped to create a stable, predictable economic environment, encouraging job-creating businesses to move here, grow here, and stay here in Pennsylvania. In fact, since Corbett became governor, Pennsylvania employers have created more than 150,000 private sector jobs, and the number of people working is at its highest since the recession. Putting students first, 
Governor Corbett is investing the most state dollars for basic education in the history of the Commonwealth. He also increased funding for early childhood development programs, PA charter schools for the deaf and blind, and children's health insurance program, CHIP. His administration has been a champion for Pennsylvania's youth by giving students in failing schools the opportunity to succeed by, by expanding the state's educational improvement tax credit program and significantly improving Pennsylvania's teachers evaluation system. Governor Corbett served his country as a member of the Pennsylvania National Guard from 1971 until 1984, rising from private to captain. He received his undergraduate degree from Lebanon Valley College in Anvil, Pennsylvania, and like Mayor Papenfuse, he was also a teacher. He taught civics at the history, he taught civics and history in Pine Grove Area High School in Schuylkill County. In 1975, he received his law degree from St. Mary's University School of Law in San Antonio, Texas. Before becoming governor, Corbett served as Pennsylvania's Attorney General, where his accomplishments brought him national recognition. Most notable are his efforts to protect our children from internet predators, our seniors from fraud and abuse, and our communities from gangs and the violence associated with them. It is with pleasure that I ask you to please join me in welcoming Governor Tom Corbett. Thank you, Jim, and good afternoon, everybody. And uh, before I forget, congratulations. Uh, it is wonderful that you're able to be here, that you were selected to be here, and you should give yourselves a round of applause before we go any further. Congratulations. <laughs> I want to uh, make this observation. I think everyone in this room, whether we be <clears throat> a parent, friend, maybe a teacher that's here, somebody from Comcast, or you, the students, is an example of what education and generosity can accomplish. Uh, the author, poet Emerson, once pointed out that college is not an education in itself. Rather, it's a means to an education because we continue to educate ourselves throughout our entire lifetime. Every one of you has shown that this is the case because you've already found Inside yourselves, that means to an education. It means hard work. You know, every one of you here have committed to hard work. It's critical thinking. It's a curiosity about the world and a recognition that there is no such thing as failure, only a fresh or new opportunity to succeed and to try again. You have earned the moment that you are here for today. And you have the discipline and the love of learning that you got here and you use to get here, it's going to serve you not just next year, not just in a post-secondary education, but throughout the rest of your entire life. We also need to take note of the generosity that Comcast and its executives are showing with these awards. They are not only recognizing what is your impressive accomplishments, but they're making a very wise investment, an investment in our young people, an investment in our communities, and an investment in everybody's future by these awards. They know, as I do, that an educated society makes for a better city, a better county, a better state, and a better nation. Their generosity will benefit you directly as it impacts all of us at the same time. And it shows that uh, Sharice Lilly, who heads this program, and the entire Comcast family understand that generosity combined with civic uh, spirit isn't just good citizenship, it's truly good business. They say, it demonstrates that the best businesses can recognize that they are partners in a community and that what they contribute beyond jobs and beyond services is a measure of their true value as corporate citizens. Many of you sitting here today, maybe you make a note when you go home. What do you want to be 20 years from now? 30 years from now. Now I will tell you, when I was sitting as a senior in high school, if I would have written governor of Pennsylvania, I would have thought I was crazy and all my friends would have thought I was crazy. I went, governor of Pennsylvania, how do you do that? Opportunity is gonna come across in your lifetime. You are putting yourselves in the best position and have put yourselves in the best position to take advantage of the opportunities in, in a rightful way. And I encourage you to do that. Many of you are going to be, and you are destined to be, 
the leaders in business, the leaders in government, the leaders in education, the leaders in your community. And I hope you carry that Comcast tradition with you as you embark, embark on your futures, which are destined to be brighter and illuminated by that lantern of education. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you all very much. And I'm sorry I can't stop. Thank you very much, Governor. Thank you for stopping by. How does this always happen to me? Uh, before we move on in the program, uh, I'd like to acknowledge and thank members of the Pennsylvania General Assembly who are here. Um, and they are, in no particular order, uh, Senator Rob Teplitz, Representative Dave Reed, Representative Ted Harhai, Representative Rick Morbido, Senator Kim Ward, Representative Mike Reagan, and offices of legislators represented are Representative Mike Hanna, Representative Cheryl Delosier from Cumberland County, uh, Senator Don, Don White, and Representative Glenn Grell. Can we please have a round of applause for all our members of the General Assembly? Now we're getting to the good part of the program. Not that it's not all been great so far, that this is the good stuff. Um, we will announce our award recipients by county and invite individual le legislators, if they are here, uh, to come up for a photo. And we'll be taking the photos over on this side of the stage after the students come up on stage uh, to receive uh, uh, their certificates. So please remain on stage until we've called up the entire county for photo purposes. And I would ask that uh, Mayor Papenfus would please come up to join us, and Jody Doherty, our Vice President of Community Investment, to also assist, along with Bob Smith, who we'll be hearing from in a little bit. First is Adams County, and please come up to the podium. Rahel Asifa and Rachel Hottle. Please come forward. on Adams County, the first in the alphabet. <laughs> By the time we get to York, yeah. it's going to be great. <laughs> From, <clears throat> thank you. From Allegheny County, Melissa Guess, Margaret Ledrick, and Kristen Smith, would you please come forward? Strong County, Douglas Hope. Douglas? Berks County, Charles Miller. Charles, would you please come forward? Well, Charles is making his way up the stage. Um, we're on Facebook, um, so you can become a fan and like uh, Comcast Leaders and Achievers. And the photos that uh, John Rudy is are taking now is taking now uh, will be posted very soon on our Facebook uh, Facebook page.
And from Bucks County, Sarah Fetter, Niha Gupta, Jolie House, and Alia Allen. Please come forward. From Cambria County, Dawn Kraft. Dawn? From Center County, Savannah Weaver. Savannah? And Savannah comes up. This year, uh, Comcast is recognizing 178 young people from Pennsylvania with this award. Um, uh, and there's a total of $187,000 in grants. Nationally, there are 1,900 students being honored. And um, this is the 15th year of the program. From Chester County, Sarah Graff, Daisy Martinez, and Brittany Mopin. From Cumberland County, we have Emily Keating, Maria Kugler, Seth Murphy Sweet, Jason Powery, and Jacob Ream. Please come forward. And from our home county of Dauphin County, we have Lexus Allen. Whoa. Emergency, an emergency certificate. Um, Lexus Allen, Maria Cronius, and Isaac Hawkins. Please come forward, the Senator Teplitz. Thank you.
and from Delaware County, Odion Ashika, Jason Benz, and Tulsi Patel. Please come forward. Just by way of preemptive explanation, my name is Frank Lynch. It's very easy to pronounce. So when, not when, not if, when I mispronounce names going forward, please forgive me. I'm tough he's in here. We'll get through it. Thank you. And from Franklin County, Hannah Ashbury, Quentin Clapper, and Benjamin Dennis. Please come forward. And from Indiana County, we have Brendan Bertig. Brendan? From Lackawanna County, Devin Carroll and Morgan, Morgan Palmeter. Devin and Morgan, please come forward. Lancaster County, can we have, uh, come to the stage, Mary Kraus, Jennifer Urich, and Danae Peters. And from Lebanon County, uh, Kristen Berenz and Brittany Clements. Please come to the stage. Right at the conclusion of the county roll call and the student presentations, we'll be uh, uh, delivering our $10,000 uh, grand prize scholarship to one of you lucky folks out there. So you got to stay in your seats. From Luzerne County, Patrick Newhart. Patrick? Lycoming County, Marco DeRizzi, Dylan Perry, and Tierney Chablay.
Thank you. From Montgomery County, Leslie Moore Adeo, Brandon and Brandon Mooney, please come forward. Next, from the city and county of Philadelphia, uh, please come forward Nico Bryant, Cole Redman, Naisha Reeves, Demetria Sadler, and Justin Torres. Please come forward. And from Schuylkill County, we have Sage Garvey, Karen Moyer, and Eric Zimmerman. Please come to the stage. From Westmoreland County, Kevin Dudick. Kevin? There he is. From your county, we have Lauren Beaver, Karina Ernst, Anna Pod Garona, Suresh Singh, and Rebecca Sweeney. Please come to the stage. And we have a couple students who couldn't make it, but their uh, parents and families were able to make it. Um, when I call their names, will you please come up to the podium and uh, accept the award on behalf of your children? Um, on behalf of uh, Brianna Rowe, Robin Rowe, and Tammy Hart, on behalf of daughter Mandy. Please come forward.
Thank you. Thank you all. I'd like to once again thank Governor Corbett and Mayor Papenfus and appreciate you staying around. If you could remain, that'd be great. Mayor, um, hate to put you on the spot like that. That's good. Anyhow, um, as mentioned at the beginning of the program, we're donating 10 Samsung Chromebooks to students who are with us here today. They're going to be chosen randomly. And uh, there he is, Mr. DiNincenzo is going to be drawing the names and we will call them. And as your name is called, would you please come forward to the stage? Drum roll. Maria Kronios. Maria? Hey. Aliyah Allen. Aliyah? Back from Westmoreland County, Kevin Dudick. Kevin? No, we have all together. Stand, stand right. Sarah Graff. <laughs> Karina Ernst. Ashbury, Charles Miller, Melissa Guess, Rebecca Sweeney. One of the names I feared pronouncing. Uh, thanks, Jim. Uh, Mark Odorizzi. Mark, with apologies. Thank you. Practice all night. And now for the big moment, the awarding of the $10,000 Comcast Foundation Scholarship Program. Scholarship. Uh, I would ask Bob Smith, Comcast Regional Vice President of Community Investment, to give some background on the award and the generous award provided by Comcast founder Ralph Roberts and to announce this year's, this year's winner. Bob was the one who was up on stage here giving all the aside remarks, so you'll enjoy this little speech. Here we go. Bob? Thanks, Frank. I'd like to add my congratulations to all of the students who've received scholarships so far, and congratulations to those of you who uh, just won a new computer, and I assure the parents that there are educational applications for those computers. They're not just for fun. I'm happy to be able to turn one of those $1,000 scholarships into a $10,000 Comcast Founders Scholarship instituted in honor of Ralph J. Roberts, founder and chairman emeritus of Comcast Corporation. Ralph Roberts founded Comcast with the purchase of a small 1,200 customer cable television system in Tupelo, Mississippi in 1963. And from those humble roots, Mr. Roberts went on to create a company that today is the nation's largest video, high-speed internet, and phone provider to residential customers under our Xfinity brand. Mr. Roberts, 93 years young, is involved in numerous community and civic activities. His business, entrepreneurial, and humanitarian endeavors have brought many awards and honorary degrees, and like the accomplishments of the students here today, are far too numerous to mention. But I will tell you that since our founding in 1963, Mr. Roberts has insisted that Comcast be a local company.
under his direction, our connection to the communities that we serve has always been a priority for us. Ralph has urged us to work hard to build and strengthen relationships with community partners, to make a difference in the lives of our customers, to improve neighborhoods, and to make lasting results. And we know that, like Ralph, all of the student scholars here today are going to make a big difference as well. So in honor of our founder, Ralph J. Roberts, we are happy to award a $10,000 Comcast Founder Scholarship to Lexis Allen. Oh, you're allowed to smile. Lexis is about to graduate from SciTech High School right here in Harrisburg, and she's going to attend the University of Maryland Eastern Shore and major in biology. Lexis, do you have family with you here today? Yes. Would you like to invite them up to? Come on up if you'd like to have your picture. Mom, are you here, Mom? Senator Teplitz, could you join us, please? Those are tears of happiness, I assure you. <laughs> Another round of applause for Alexis. Lexus uh, lives about uh, half a block from where I grew up on Hale Avenue. I grew up on Hale Avenue. She lives on Rudy Road. And she lives in the house there where my best friend lived, uh, Bob Ryan. But that had absolutely nothing to do with this, believe me. I think Bob's in prison now. As, as a guard, as a guard. <laughs> he was one of the best and brightest as well. Um, housekeeping, in a few minutes we'll gather for lunch upstairs in Memorial Hall. Uh, if you have any questions on that, please seek out Jody, who you've seen up here, Kristen Ritchie, or Rebecca Kahn, or any of the uh, Comcast Government Affairs staff, and they'll be able to help you. Uh, you just go up the escalator, and lunch will be there. Premier Catering is doing the, providing the meal again this afternoon, and uh, they always do an excellent, excellent job. With that, we've reached the point in our program where it's time to wrap up and move on. Before we do, we have one piece of unfinished business that we always like to do. We've offered applause to elected officials, to educators, community leaders, and of course to our deserving students, the best and the brightest of Pennsylvania. But we'd be remiss if we did not acknowledge and thank those who made it all <clears throat> possible for student success. The parents and caregivers of our winners. They are the real everyday heroes, the impetus for success that our winners have earned. So at this time, I would please ask that our winning students please rise. You are the class of 2014, leaders and achievers. Please lead all of us in a round of applause for your parents and family members because they are the cornerstones of your success and they deserve our thanks. So, thank you very much, you may sit down. And on behalf of Comcast, I'd like to thank you all for joining us in Harrisburg to celebrate these special achievements and the best for success in whatever fields you choose. And none of us has any doubt you would do all of us proud. With that, let's go to lunch. Thank you very much. 
congratulations. Thank you. What does it mean to have been recognized for all your hard work? It means everything. And then to have help with my college education, it's a great relief considering the income in my family and stuff like that. So it feels great. It, it almost made me cry. So Aww. it feels really good. Congratulations. And I know that you're planning to major in biology, yes. right? So what are your future plans with that? I want to become a physician's assistant and work in a hospital. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And good luck. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs>